What's going on YouTube? What's going on to all you savvy investors out there? Welcome back to the Making Easy Money YouTube channel where our main focus and goal is to make money in the stock market. And what we came to talk about here in today's video is EVL. Oh, and before we do so, don't forget to consider joining our Discord server while we're currently having a 15-day free trial so you will not miss out on home run plays like you see here today. I alerted EVLO in our major buy alert section, ladies and gentlemen, back on Thursday for the entry price of $7.58. And we'll take a brief look and check out how high the stock has ran since alerting the stock. You guys can see here it ran as high as thirteen dollars and seventy one cent here early off in yesterday's well friday's trading day and that is what you call a home run play and youtube can get these alerts in real time all you have to do is stop what you're doing drop down in that description below click that discord link activate your 15 day free trial and let the games begin it does take time for me to create and upload these youtube videos so being a part of the discord you will get an edge on that also you will get the entire making easy money in-house analyst alerts as well we have options alerts day trade alerts swing trade alerts we even have short sale alerts also guys you will have total access to the making easy money lounge and that includes our entire chat section list where you will be able to find me and other live traders where you can engage share ideas also make sure you check out the mem testimonials when you first get over here ladies and gentlemen so you will be able to see firsthand the type of money that the making easy money members are making thanks to these accurate in-house analyst alerts so again if you do want to be a part of the making easy money discord server so you too can get these accurate in-house analyst alerts drop down to that description below click that discord link and uh let the games begin now what we came to talk about here in today's video is e d Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, Horizon Technology Finance Corp increased their stock, their stake, sorry about that, to 11.5%. That is extremely high, ladies and gentlemen. If we take a brief look and check out our financials, really not financial summary, and get those shareholder statistics really quickly. Another reason why I suggest for you guys to get out there and switch over to the trading platform boom because the lot the data resources and tools that we have at our disposal and fingertips also everything is well organized here. Now what we want to see here is our shareholdings top flagship pioneer holds a 52 shareholder rating here in EDLO. That is extremely high, ladies and gentlemen. That is almost half of the share count. If we take a brief look and check out individuals and insiders, though, insiders don't own much of the company. Um, is that a very great sign? If you ask me, not so much, but we have taken consideration, ladies and gentlemen, this stock just recently had a reverse stock split. Now, a lot of companies after performing reverse stock split, we tend to not see this type of price action that EVLO has been seeing and seeing as though that major institutions are adding to their stake here in EVLO. Take a brief look and check it out. As you guys can see here, um, as of July 11th, they have a stake up to 11 and a half percent. Now, like I said before, that is extremely high for one entity. Now, as you guys can see here, we do see even higher shareholding ratios here in EVLO with flagship pioneering holding over 42 percent. That is what that's not a controlling stake um but 42 percent that is a majority shareholder for sure now what we want to take a brief look at as well ladies and gentlemen is the recent short sale activity and a lot of people over on the wall street bets reddit forum has been calling this the next short squeeze target and it is looking as though that it is shaping up just as such if we take a brief look and check out our interpretations of indicators here really 
quickly. And if you're still here with me, can you please stop what you're doing and click that like button? Don't forget to drop down in the comment section below the words still here with you, Obi. But as you guys can see here, um, short sale ratio of very, very aggressive for sale ratio here on Friday's trading, guys. And if we go back to the 15-minute chart here really quickly so we can determine whether we stand a very great chance to see a short cover situation here Monday. Another great reason why I suggest for everyone to switch over to the trading platform Mumu immediately. And don't forget to use my sign-up link in the description below due to the fact that this daily short sale analysis chart you're not going to find it on Weevil, TD Ameritrade, Robinhood, and many other trading platforms. You would have to use another software um, or platform in order to get this data. And a lot of these other trading platforms is lacking on that. But here on Mumu, we get that daily short sale analysis each and every day. And as you guys can see here, coming off of Thursday, 7.5% on that short sale ratio. Like I told you guys before, Expect to see a very aggressive short sale ratio here on Friday, but to my surprise, 14% is much higher than what I expect. I expect to see an aggressive short sale ratio between 8 and 9%. Thing is though that EVLO did see 703,000 shares sold short and checking off this price action that we see here, ladies and gentlemen let's take a brief look and check out that capital trend here another reason ladies and gentlemen why mumu is so 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 um beneficial to actually use you don't even have to use this thing to actually buy or sell stocks ladies and gentlemen you could just actually download it and just use it for its data you don't even have to upload any money on the trading platform to actually use any of these tools but as you guys can see here on that extra large outflow here we start to see it pick up slightly so we do see some early morning covering going on and that's when the outflow starts to pick up here ladies and gentlemen that is at 957 right here is when the outflow starts to pick up let's get highlight those interval stats here from 1051 let's see this 1051 starts to lower uh, starts to lower a little bit at 1051 so that's exactly when we start to see some more slight covering going on but as you guys can see here ladies and gentlemen we do see a huge shorted range between 1325 and 1055 here on friday's trading and what a high aggressive short sale ratio um guys it is more than likely we do see a carryover here for um monday's trading now depending on monday's pre-market price action evlo may see a short cover situation here monday ladies and gentlemen like i said before those short positions are stacked but depending on the pre-market price action, we may see some pressure put on those short positions um, and we may see a short cover situation here Monday. But it is stacked, ladies and gentlemen, and the likelihood of it actually happening is there. Because again, like I told you guys before, I'm hearing a lot of retail investor talk about EVLO is the next short squeeze play and again if, if you did catch the alert over on the discord let me know in the comment section below by saying caught the uh, alert now ladies and gentlemen another stock i will be talking about here later today in a video later is cei i'm going to be giving you my thoughts on cei merger with viking energy which recently just got approved by shareholders. That is why we did see this thing skyrocket here on Friday's trading. Then we take a brief look and check out the short sale activity on that. It was beef up, ladies and gentlemen. So the short cover situation here in CEI, the likelihood is there. It's even more likely to happen than E. VLO due to um, the price action that we closed at here and the price action and the price levels that we 
currently sit at here in today's aftermarket hours is putting more pressure on those carried over positions here from Friday's trade. And as you guys can see here, short tail ratio of 8.78%. I'm going to be giving you my thoughts all on that as well. Also, guys, I'm going to be giving you an update on AMC and what to expect this week, ladies and gentlemen, due to the fact that huge news for AMC shareholders of the denial of the conversion. Okay, so with that being said, if you do want to check out those videos and you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure all post notifications is set to all so you will be alerted each and every time I create one of these videos and may the gains be with you. Be with you.